Okay guys, this is just a quick video about 2D arrays. So, last time we said regular arrays were like this. So if you imagine a few variables stuck together in a line, like this. So each of these little boxes is going to contain a different number or value. And then on top of this, we'd say they're indexed. So the index starts at zero and then works its way up. That's how we index them. So a 2D array is quite similar to this. So this is what a 2D array would look like. It's a matrix, so it's a square box. And if I want to make one that is 4 by 4, we would say we would first start off by adding the rows. So that's the first row, the second row, third row, the last one there is the fourth row, and then we want to give it columns, so these are top to bottom, so that's the first one, the second one, and the last two is the third and the fourth. So how do we index these? We're going to say that the top left hand side is zero, then we have one, two, and three, and then over here we're going to have 0 across the top, 1, 2, and 3. So it looks quite similar to an array and we reference them the same way. The only difference is we have an extra number to work with. So I'm just going to get rid of the old array on the top there. Now, down the left hand side is the, the number of rows and across the top is the number of columns. So we call these rows, and across the top are columns. So I always say the rows of seats in a church, and the columns that hold up the roof. That's my way of indexing it, or saying it. So if we want to look at the code for this, it looks quite similar to a regular array. The only difference is we have an extra number we have to add on here, which is the number of columns. So we're saying four rows and four columns. Now, the first thing you're going to notice is that we actually start at zero here and not one. So we said zero, one, two, and three. And this is the rows on the left hand side and the right hand side is the column number. So to show you what this actually looks like in picture format, I'm saying row 0, column 1. And if I go back to our picture, what we're putting in is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So the code for this would be 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3. And that's the first row. Then we want to move on to this second row here, which has 5, 6, 7, and 8 inside it. So that would be 1, 1, 1, 2, and 1, 3. So it looks exactly like this. But instead of row 0, it's actually row 1 we're working with. I'm going to change these numbers here, so 5, 6, 7, and 8. And that's pretty much all there is to it. 2D arrays are just like regular arrays, but they have rows and columns instead of just a single index number. And when we want to work with them, again, we have a second number here, and we have to index the row and the column number. So just as a little comment here, we'd say the row and then the column. And then on just beside it here is the value that we want to give it. So that's all there is to it, and that's 2D arrays.